What's up, Legends? Out here with the fam, going on a quick target run. And uh, here with my newborn baby daughter, who's just a week old. I figure while we're here, let's go Pokemon card hunting and see if they have anything. I think we can check out GameStop as well while we're over here. Allie, you want to go look at the Pokemon cards? <laughs> They have anything? Yeah, it looks like they do. It's mostly the leftovers, though. Look, they had a Pokemon's head on it. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, it doesn't look like they really restocked. I think this is all from last week. All right, like I said, no new stock that I can see. Uh, but while my wife and the rest of my family are checking out. I figured we can go walk over to GameStop and see if there's anything new over there. Okay. All right, well, some pretty decent stock. Um, I think we may just continue the hunt another day because I didn't see anything that I'm really looking for right now. Yep, so let's skip to tomorrow. All right, we're continuing the hunt after our uh, one week appointment with our baby daughter. So you're kind of sleeping in the back there. So I'm gonna run into Walmart real quick while Simone stays out here with the baby. Let's go see what we can find in Walmart. All right, did we get a restock? Wow. Oh my goodness, we definitely did. <clears throat> All right, we got something brand new. We got this Bolton box. Looks like it got Evolving Skies, Brilliant Stars, and a Fusion Strike. Nice, I might actually get that. Pikachu V box, Lucario V star, more Peko V Union, Shiny Bates Pikachu box got these tins, which are reprints, so they don't have the old packs they used to. I don't really recommend them personally. More of these. We got these two. Okay, we got some of these single promo blisters. Portfolios. Pikachu plushie, of course. So cute. All the V unions, too. Oh, and you can't forget some Vivid Voltage ETBs and Darkness of Blaze ETBs. Oh, I almost missed these. Nice. Uh, we got quite a big restock in the front, so probably not going to be anything in the back, but let's just check just because. Let's see. Some Pokemon there. Yeah, not really seeing anything over here. All right, back up at the front. I think we're gonna grab this and one of these Bolton boxes. Well, guys, that was an insane restock. Um, we got some good stuff today. I think we're gonna head to one or two more stores though. Uh, so let's head to the next store. All right, next stop, Target. Well, and surprisingly, they actually have a decent amount here as well. Um, I don't know if they usually get a restock on this day, but it looks like they did. Then again, this could just be the leftovers. I mean, I'm not sure if people are as excited about some of these products here. <laughs> All right, well, some decent stock, but um, nothing that we're quite interested in right now. Uh, but we were able to get a few items, get some coffee, and it's actually our third target run in the last 24 hours. Anyway, let's go back home and we'll open up what we got at Walmart. And we're back. Thank you so much for joining us on the hunt. I feel like we got some pretty good stuff today. We actually found some new products. This Bolton V box, as well as one of the new Evolution tins. This one features Espeon on the front. So super excited to see what packs we have in those. But real quick, if it's your first time here, my name is Luke. And after 20 years, I got back into collecting Pokemon cards to chase that feeling of nostalgia from my childhood. So I invite you to come along the journey with me by hitting that subscribe button below. But let's go ahead and get into our opening. 
All right, I feel like we got a packed opening today. So let's start off, I think, with our Bolton V box. Let's see what we got in here. Here's a code card for you guys. And the packs we have, ooh, nice, Evolving Skies. Brilliant Stars, two Brilliant Stars and Fusion Strike. All right, and we got, of course, a Jumbo card. And two little promo cards here. I assume they're promo cards. Yep, they are. Well, okay, the Wooloo is not a Black Star promo, but it does have a cool Galaxy hollow foil pattern on it. Very interesting choice, but the Bolton V, which does look pretty cute, has a Black Star promo. Very cool. Go ahead and get a sleeve on that guy. And we'll get into our packs. All right, I'm pretty excited about these packs here. You know, Fusion Strike, not necessarily my favorite, but would definitely love to pull an Alt Art Gengar or an Alt Art Espeon. Espeon is my favorite evolution, which, you know, is very fortunate that we actually found the, um, the Espeon tin today. So super excited about that. But let's see what we have in Fusion Strike. We start now with the darkness. Breloom, Cross Switcher, Garbodor, uh, Basculin, Grubbin, Mankey. Nice, haven't seen that artwork before. That's cool, I like that one. Cryogunk, Croagunk, Panseer, Eldegoss Reverse. Oh, we might have something. We have, okay, nice, the Dodrio V. We'll take it, that's pretty cool. Nice first pack magic today. I guess we'll do some brilliant stars. We'll save the Evolving Skies pack for last because I feel like it's been a minute since we opened the brilliant stars. Probably more than one minute, probably several minutes. All right. We got a Psychic Energy. Choice Belt, Luxio, Electabuzz. I do love that artwork. Grimer, Duskull. Reverse Corefish, and, oh, okay, nice, Morpeko V. So we got two hits already. Starting things off right. It's like the Eevee, uh, evil, <laughs> Eevee, it's the evil Morpeko, I should say. All right, here we go with another Brilliant Stars pack. go with that. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, another Psychic Energy. Weavile. Dusclops. Morgrum. Purloin. Skroomish. Piplup. Trapinch. Turtwig. Reverse Hunting Gloves and an Ice Cube. Escu. Okay. Here we go. Let's open up some evolving skies. I'm trying to get my hands on some some of these packs for a, a good price, but it can be challenging to find them where they actually have good prices like GameStop or Best Buy. All right, let's see what we got. Lightning Energy, Crustal, Moon and Sun Badge, Toy Catcher. Timpole, cutie fly, what a cutie fly. Applin, Sableye, Nicket, Reverse Hippodon, and a Gore Guys. All right, so we got our first main hits in our first two packs. Not so bad though. But hey, before we get into our Espeon 10, we actually have some mail from Whatnot to open up today. Now, Whatnot is an app that features live streamed auctions that usually last one minute or less. And you can often get some pretty great deals on things like Pokemon cards. I get good deals on there all the time. So if you sign up using my link in the description below, you'll actually get $10 free to use on Whatnot. So definitely take advantage of that. But let's uh, see what we got here. Looks like we got a few singles, one for $26, one for $23, and one for $16. All right, well, let's find out what we have here. You can kind of already see on the front, that looks like we have a Hitmonchan 
from base set and you know I wish I knew which one belonged with which uh, price tag but unfortunately you don't really know that but if I do remember I feel, feel like we got two cards with um, for the price of one so yeah actually I see three or sorry four cards total in here so one of those prizes that you saw actually was for two cards so it looks like yeah this is a pretty good condition card overall let's check the back probably on the light play side looking at the whitening and which is fine I actually already own this card but I actually uh, bid on it because the the price ended up being uh, pretty much the same or maybe even less than uh, paying for the card that I actually wanted which was this one right here Hitmonlee this is one that I still needed for our uh, fossil master set so let's pull this out and see what the condition is like and looking really clean on the front just a little bit of scratching I would probably more so say scuffing on the front oh yeah this is a nice one just a little bit of white spots over there unfortunately it's the only thing I really see maybe like a little scratch on the surface but yeah definitely I think I would still consider this to be near mint personally anyway let's stick a perfect fit sleeve on him and we'll stick him up here along with Hitmonchan which also does need a sleeve as well I guess we'll have to see which one of those Hitmonchans that I already have is in better condition but let's find out what else we have. Looks like a another light play copy of oh nice! I literally forgot that I purchased these. All right, Snorlax from Jungle. Definitely a little scratched up and quite a bit of silvering. I don't know if you can see that on that side, but and a little bit on the bottom. Not too bad though. I mean. It's definitely good enough for my collection being in light play condition. Maybe eventually I'll get a better copy, but I think I'm pretty happy with that so far. It still looks really nice, and I just definitely always love the hollow patterns on these. You gotta look at it in the right light. I actually notice sometimes if you look at it in lower light, it actually looks even better. Let's lower that a little bit. I don't know if you can see some of that there. Super cool. Back in a sleeve you go. Getting some good vintage cards today and this will not pick up. And lastly in this lot we have, wow, okay, a very near mint, possibly mint copy of something. You can just see a few barely white dots over there. Oh yes, all right, we got the Ditto from Fossil. I do love this card. It's very cool. I had the um, the non-hollow already, but still needed this one for our collection. And man, we're coming pretty close. I feel like we're getting a lot of the stuff we need for our fossil set. We haven't even quite finished our base set, master set yet. So that's looking great. I mean, man, the, the hollow, you can barely see any scratching on there. A little bit of silvering, but it's barely noticeable. Wow, that is a really minty card. You know, considering how old it is at least. All right, very nice. But now it's time to get into our other product that we got today. It's a very beautiful looking tan. We'll definitely be keeping this to store some stuff in. And it looks like there it might be a promo card in there. I'm not really sure. I mean, it looks this looks very similar to the um to the Espeon V that you can pull in uh, Evolving Skies, but I think it might be a little bit different. Yeah, if we pop that out of there, it does appear to be a Black Star promo card. Very cool. Definitely needed that. I'm gonna be collecting as many of the Espeons as I can, so let's go ahead and sleeve that up. Stick that up here. Just kind of rearrange this a little bit. And we'll find out what packs we have. Looks like two brilliant stars, a fusion strike. Oh, nice, another evolving skies and sword and shield. Nice. That's pretty cool that it comes with five packs. All right, well, we'll do this in the order in which that I like them. So sword and shield, 
It's not a bad set, but definitely my least favorite here. I would still love to pull, I think the, uh, the Snorlax where the, the, um, the ground is like his body. I feel like that card looks pretty sweet. I'd also love to pull the gold uh, Zacian from this set. I think both of those cards are pretty cool. Here we go with some water. Ordinary rod, just a plain old ordinary rod. Hitmon Lee, Min Mincino, Mincino, Galarian Ponyta, Score Bunny, Silly Cobra, Tricks are for Kids, Reverse Energy Retrieval, and hey, a Celebi V. Very nice, not bad at all. We're getting some first pack magic on both of our products today. Very cool. Stick that up there, need to make some room. Let's get into Fusion Strike next. All right, it's Electric. Galarian Preserker. Bun, Buneary. Bun, Buneary, I don't know. Shinx. Dribbler. Caterpie. Shelter. Slug my reverse and oh, all right, nice. That's a that seems like a good one. Chili, Sillen, and Cress. All right. Tell you what, we're getting some pretty good stuff today. I can definitely recommend both of these products so far. As so, you know, for a a box like the Bolton one that we opened. I feel like to get two hits is about right. That seems to be what you should expect to get out, something like that. This one has five packs, so I would think that you'd be, not guaranteed, but most likely to get maybe three hits, I would hope. And of course, in this set, we also could get double hits with the, um, the trainer gallery. So we'll see. Dene. Cub Chew, Duskull, Farfetch'd, Execute, Reverse, Bibarel, and Aluminium. I guess if you're from Great Britain, you would say Aluminium or something like that. Or Aluminum. Wow, guys, three hits already. So, yeah, that's about all I would expect to get from this tin, but you never know. You just never know. And of course, these are the two sets we really hope for something really good. So, one, two, three, four. We got a metal here, solid. Kindler, Ultra Ball, Cherubi, Sock, Corfish, Golette, Chimecho, Reverse Mincino, so no Trainer Gallery, and nothing there. Okay. Evolving Skies. So I'm super excited about this, that they actually included Evolving Skies pack in them. The thing that, that kind of sucks about Evolving Skies is that there were hardly any products that, you know, you where you could just, just get Evolving Skies in them. They were almost all mixed in with other stuff. So now, on the part of the Pokemon company, it's actually pretty smart though, because you know, people love that set. And so I guess it's kind of a way to um, kind of attract people to buy products with other packs in them, sell the less desirable packs. But anyway, it is what it is. Lantern, Drowsy, Flabebe. I want a Rog and Rolla all night. Swablu, C dot, reverse copycat, and this is our last pack. So let's see what we're ending off with today. We have, okay, just a hollow Regidrago, but technically that is a hit. So we actually got four hits in this tin, so not bad. Here's a quick summary of everything we got today. Uh, that's probably our best hit from our boxes here, but that was a cool one. Definitely a really cool promo and another promo there as well. 
But of course today, what I'm most excited about, of course, is our vintage card pickups. Some really nice Watsy cards right here, especially this minty ditto. Be sure and check out one of these videos on screen if you like Pokemon card hunts and openings. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any in the future. And lastly, I want to let you know that no matter what you're going through, you are not alone. God is with you and he loves you and we do too. I'll catch you next time.